Okay, this is a quick video to video tutorial on how to create a signature in Hotmail. I do want to let you know that they do not allow um, pictures. But if you click this uh, gear icon near the top right by your name and you go down to options. Under the writing email section, you will see formatting font and signature. Click on that. And this top box allows you to choose your message font. Um, the bottom message is your actual signature. Now, I already have one. I will delete it and create a new one. Uh, or I'll just create the same one and show you how to do it. I'm a stay-at-home dad and father. Well, I'll say stay-at-home dad of 10. And I work online at home. If you... If that sounds good if that sounds like something you'd be interested in simply click here so to add a link to that sorry that's my wife texting <laughs> we do we love each other very much but and this link you can put um, anything you'd like. You can put a capture page if you're marketing, uh, which in this case I'm just going to put my website in there right now. And with that, or even before that, you can put your name so you don't ever have to sign any emails ever again. You can put your phone number. And you can also link your uh, Facebook information. For instance, I will put my fan page on here. Facebook.com slash Meet Van Dan. Or what you can actually do is click here to visit my Facebook profile. Or I'll just say click here to add me on Facebook. And then I will highlight that and link it to my Facebook profile. Click OK. And once you've got your signature the way you want it, you may want to add one extra blank in there just to make sure it ends up below the text you you type in your email. Because all this, what you put in your signature, goes on the end of your, it gets added onto the end of your email automatically. So I would say go ahead and throw an extra, extra line in there to a blank line just to keep it away from the rest of the text. Then click Save. And you're done. So when you go back to your inbox, you will have the option to compose a new email. And once I open that up, you'll see my signature shows up at the bottom automatically. So you can choose your address, and go here. Here's your new signature. And email to whoever you want. You know, you, every email you send will have that signature attached to it. I'm actually going to cancel. I'm not going to send that to anybody. But I hope that helps you, and I hope it is useful to you.